soon, in August 24th, it'll be six years since I last visited home. Of course, nobody escapes war, you know, everybody's affected by it, whether they're inside the country or outside the country in different capacities. Um, definitely feelings of guilt and helplessness and anger, sadness. Probably the hardest part is being away from my family because uh, my mom and dad are still in Damascus um, and then my sister is in the UAE. When I started, I felt like, what is it going to be all about? It's a, it's a very important space um, and it was very important for me as well uh, because I just f felt more comfortable in that in in during rehearsals and connecting with women. Uh, it was it just feels more effortless, and uh, there are high levels of support uh, from all the women involved, whether they have been displaced or not. Before I started, I never knew that there are some other women like me that are also going through, if not the same similar situation that I am into. So to some extent, that kind of gives me a bit of relief that I am not the only person in it. So as women, us being together, talking about one another's experience, as well as it's like somebody's going through what you're going through or similar, and you see one another, you feel a lot relieved because that's how I felt personally, because I really learned a lot from all these amazing women. The atmosphere that's created when women come into a space together is uh, something very um, sacred, I think, um, is our space to sort of say we support each other and we we understand each other's struggles, although they may be different, might be very different from um, a lady coming from Sudan or from Syria. Um, however, some some of our struggles are are common to to women. Yeah, so that's not like to exclude men <laughs> completely, but it's good to have like also this opportunity. <laughs> Very special because I never thought I would dance Dabke, which is a traditional folk dance from my region. I never thought I would dance Dabke in London. <laughs> my mother, even my mother, was so shocked. Uh, dance, because for me it's like um, personally a very powerful like way to express like your emotions or uh, your feelings. Um, much, much more than like words, and uh, I think it's very like therapeutic for anyone uh, to be able to do that. There are so many women like me that actually want to dance through their pain. They actually want to um, grab the opportunity of dancing to forget about the other side of their life. So myself and uh, Serena and, and Huia as a dance company, we wanted to engage with the people that have made it to the UK and, and whatever form that they have or whatever struggles that they've had and from whichever homelands that they've come from. Supporting uh, hardships and elevating people. The main thing is that they feel welcomed into our community and that they have a place to, to integrate, to contribute to change the narratives also of refugees in this country. I think there needs to be more spaces like that that uh, form around solidarity, um, 
the fact that we dance instead of always talking about politics, for instance, or always talking about what happened in the past. It's nice to just build something together um, through the medium of dance. Subject to destitution. Subject to deportation. She doesn't understand. Why are they doing this to her? We did, um, Serena and myself uh, went to Calais and we, we did um, also some women only, um, well, women and children only dance, dance classes there and uh, in the Women and Children Centre. And that was very interesting. I found that a um, very interesting space to be in because it was as soon as the doors were shut, uh, the women take their hijabs off and you could see a different side to them that I wouldn't have. I didn't get to know that that side when the men or the, the boys were around. So I saw that this really creates a safe space in which they can feel themselves and really come out of themselves. And maybe that that then can prepare them for perhaps a, a culture that, that is more integrated with men and women working together. Her body and soul has endured by some miracle against all odds. Thanks a lot to Sylvia and Serena, they kind of groom you and bring out what you're unable to do. But for the fact that they were kind of telling us, this is how to do it, this is what to do, this is how to move your body, it was really helpful. It's like they were there to bring out the potential out of me. I was very grateful for that. It's, no, it's not down, it's like you're looking to the side and there's a slight hill, but like it's not this. So if you can make a change like uh, for one person then you know it's kind of a chain uh, so you know make a change for, for them and you know they will make a change for other people and so on. I saw Hawiya perform with uh, a company in from Palestine uh, they performed at Rich Mix in the winter and I loved their performance and then I approached them to speak to them a bit I thought it was a perfect opportunity because I had been dancing for most of my life. Uh, I started when I was eight and hadn't danced since arriving here, so I had missed it a lot. Plus, I'm very passionate about um, topics around displacement um, and women's rights and human rights in general, so it was a perfect combination for me. <laughs> So I just like at living in, in this world, I, you just see uh, that it's um, that it's full of injustice, and you know you've got some people that are uh, really um, in a better position compared to other people, and um, like with the media, uh, like they really manipulate uh, reality and like what, what's happening and really portraying, you know, a certain group of people in a way and, you know, what other people in a different way. And I feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm really privileged. So I think that's the main reason why, um, yeah, I've been interested in creating a connection with uh, different people um, and, and empowering people. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're the first kind of doing like, I don't know, <laughs> 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 So try and keep it like just so uh, pointed. Yes. People shouldn't take borders seriously and they should question them and they should question what their governments are telling them about who's your enemy and who's stealing your job and who's committing crime, da, 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 all those things I think we should all think about very seriously and, and, and think about the inequalities that exist today. Um, it's still very startling for me to walk uh, in London and see so many homeless people, for example, in a city that's one of the richest and most important in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then in London, everything is expensive, as you know. Uh, and any dance institute was, you know, somewhat elitist because it's not an art form that is very common. Uh, I'd say maybe music or singing are a bit more common. So it was hard for me to find my place in the dance scene in London. And then finally, I came across Hawiya. For example, someone like me, I've got a little one. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to be part of it. I would have been left out in such an amazing opportunity, which I'm grateful for that I have now, because it's a skill. I see it as a skill. I would have been left out if there wasn't an opportunity for them to get a support such, such as childcare in order to be able to support me to be there. So many other women are also in such a similar situation who would love to be there, who would love to participate, who will want to be involved. And they also, I think what I love about them too is that they're very political, so they have a message to everything they do. And for me, that's extremely important to, to combine a hobby with something that delivers messages. We are more than the shivering seduction of belly shimmies and fabric swirls. We are more than the destitute remains of a people claimed conquered. I think uh, some of the main challenges is uh, undocumented people that will people that haven't um, received asylum uh, or uh, refugee status uh, that they it's very hard for them to it's it's probably the worst time that they'll go through and that they they don't quite know what's happening are they going to be deported are they going to are they going to come out stronger on the other side and that's been a real challenge so the people that had joined who haven't got security yet haven't been able to follow through with the whole uh, six weeks that we came together. I realized that I have to take a step, you know, to feel safer, I guess, and to feel a, a bit of a sense of stability. So I decided to seek asylum here. It's a difficult process, but again, like I'm very lucky to have entered the country safely on a plane. Other people have, that I've spoken to have gone through literal death or close to death until they got here. So I don't know, I hope that we all are able to lend a hand, even if it's to your best friend or your family member, to support them in any way you can, to bridge some of those gaps that we have today. Because um, I know it can seem overwhelmingly um, dark and awful and sad, but yeah, I think we can make a difference even through those small connections, even through a dance workshop. <laughs> yeah.